Get up! Come on, hurry! The warden is calling! Are you really going to save Nostra, as they say? What's your angle? You can discuss it with Warden Valber. Come out of that cell, I'll escort you. And what if I refuse? Let's go. You know the Warden doesn't like to be kept waiting. The sooner you get to his office, the sooner you'll learn everything. I can tell you this much. It's good news for you. this time in the future. During your six months inside, quite a lot has happened. Rumor has it the king is dying. Did you hear what Decim said? The dwarves refused to supply us. Your belongings are in yonder chest. Take everything or you'll freeze to death. The prison's warmer than outside, slightly. Pestilence has struck Montpetri. The quarantine is everywhere. Mages forced to wear masks like common bandits. The undead are climbing out of their graves all over the crown land. I wonder if the necromancers have returned, like in the olden times. It's a good thing Crucis is in the middle of Magdus knows where. Or Maxis is nowhere. <laughs> I just wrote this letter. Take it to Sister Sophie. She's in Marcella, you know, and she's personally acquainted with me. You're a free individual now. Why are you releasing me? Larie, you... Didn't you hear? A messenger arrived today, all the way from Marcella. I just came up to... Then you should know that he brought an order of release from the prince himself. Disturbing news, sir. 
So much fuss and all for what? Who the hell do you think you are making me wreak havoc in my prison? My name is Ivor, leader of the famous Hounds of War, if that tells you anything. Hmm. Well, well. I heard a little more than that. As Flavius the Wisecracker eloquently wrote, there's nothing new in this world. But I haven't received a letter like this in all seven years of my tenure at Crucis. Prince Adrian orders that you be freed and sent to Marcel. Also, you won't be leaving here on foot. I was ordered to return your gold and belongings, provide you with a horse, and, <laughs> let me read it aloud, allocate some of my own garrison as your personal guard. Madness! About time. Whether the prince is sane or not is of no consequence. I cannot disobey my lead. Bastion should have returned your money and belongings by now. <laughs> if he didn't steal them himself. Quartermaster Aston will supply you with weapons. As for gold, you have plenty already. Go to Desim to collect your guards. He has a platoon of troublemakers he's wanted rid of for a long time now. He'll be glad to hand them over. I also advise you to purchase some dogs for the road. And what else did His Highness request? Ah, yes, a horse. Levit the stable boy has a soft spot for nags too old and worn down to work. I'm sure he can pick one out for you. As you say, Warden. Jacks brought us our fault. Halt! What are you doing here? You're not permitted to be wandering about like a st I'm free now. The warden said you're to provide me with an armed escort. So Centurion, it's true. The warden received a missive from the prince ordering the provision of a guard troop for the prisoner. A uh, former prisoner. Huh? Never heard of a prisoner being released. Ah, well, I believe I have some laggards and troublemakers I can spare. Can I go too? Oh, how I miss the sunny warmth of the capital. No, Bastion, you're not rotten enough to let go. I can still make a decent guard out of Perhaps you could give me a few fighting hounds as well. The only thing you'll be getting for free is a family of bedbugs. I spent a year training those hounds. Now, if we're talking about an exchange of gold for flesh, that's another bowl of kibble entirely. You'll get the best dogs in Nostra. Hounds of War. Sounds familiar. Are they any good? These recruits might not be the brightest candles at the feast, but my fighting dogs are as fierce as the Warden himself. You won't regret a single gold piece spent on these at... What's wrong with Dwarf? And tomorrow, just like that, you no bowing courtiers and the marks of drag on the parquet. No prostrate petitioners prattling. And women? Ah, it's all right, brother. I'm free from my cell. Just wait. Oh my. Who's there?
What do you need, human? A shovel, perhaps? Have you been sent to the stables? No. The warden ordered a weapon be made available for purchase. And a good one, mind you. Oh, sacred forefathers. Why would I ever do that? As of today, I am no longer a prisoner. Good Prince Adrian has ordered... By Magdus's horns. This is the first time I've ever seen a human leave Crucis on their own two feet. If you got gold, treat yourself to something new. Go ahead. Aston didn't shortchange you on equipment. I warrant you'll survive the Albion Highlands. Go, Hume. May your body be as hard as flint, and your soul as clear as crystal. Thanks for the kind words, Aston. May you be well, too. It's you. You're the one who poisoned that scoundrel, Claudius. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Actually, I didn't exactly. Don't be modest. You did a great thing here, and history will not forget. You seem to have lost your mind. Can you give me a horse? All you're asking is a horse? Just a horse? Have no worry. You'll get our best. Saddle up quickly. You've probably forgotten how to ride after half a year in a cell. You can go now. Actually, wait. What is it? I wanted to warn you about sentry golems. Be wary of them once you're past New Tyrene. Golems? What are they doing? The mage Rossum took them to clear a landslide. What they lack in brain, they make up in brawl. Since they don't know you've been released, they're liable to crush you. As you pass the southern ruins, find the archer's squad commander, Ansel. The royal messenger said the squad will join you and augment your escort. I'm hoping that by the time you get there, they'll catch the marauder who's been raiding abandoned out. Wonder why old Berengarius didn't turn him into a chicken. Is this Berengarius fellow another part of my escort? It's going to be quite the circus following me around. That's up to his magicness. I have no authority over him. Perhaps he'll decide to leave these cold, inhospitable lands for the warmth of the mages. Come on, mount up. I picked out the fairy. He's calm and obedient. Stands as if he's rooted to the ground. Races like the wind itself. And very smart. He'll find you anywhere if you just... Summer, but every season may as well be winter here. <laughs> 